Alan Quo, what's good? What's up? All right, so you're all over the news right now. You're all over the sneaker vlogs for an insane amount of Yeezy 750s that you had before the release. But before we get into all that, I want to talk about your history. So how did you get into the whole sneaker reselling thing? Yeah, um, I had a friend in high school. He, he knew I liked to make money, so he introduced me to Jordans. And it was about, I think it was in 2012, when the, the first pair I bought was right here, the Olympic Sixes. Um, I bought two pairs in a size 10 and I just put them, I put them in the, in the closet for like half a year and, and when I decided to sell them, I made profit so I found out like maybe I can make good like money doing this so I had some money saved up so I started buying and selling like locally like meetups and stuff and then I also consigned a lot of shoes over here at Soul Stage. Um, they really helped me out. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's how I started and well first I started selling socks okay. like Nike Elite socks. They were they were like they had resale value like three, four years ago. Really? Yeah, so I started with that and what, what, what's the what's the what's the re, you know how much did you buy them for and how much did you sell them for? Like socks I never even heard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people of a lot of people laugh at it like why are you selling socks, you know, but I just did it anyways cuz I I I was making money, I knew. So of course I'm going to do it. So I bought them like, I bought them from different places. Um, East Bay, I ordered some like wholesale and they give you like 30, 40% off. So I sold them for like 40% more than retail. So like okay. I buy them for like eight bucks and I sell them for like 20. Mm. So I basically double the money cause I get like 16 back after shipping and fees and stuff like that. So like, I'm just like a business person. So it clicked. So I just started to do socks. And then, so my friend saw that. So he's like, yo, why don't you try shoes? Cause I don't know, I didn't know a single thing about Jordans before, Kay. like not a single thing, like one through 13, like I didn't know what any of that was. Right. Yeah, at that time. Okay, so you bought your first pair of shoes, you got some Olympic sixes, mm -hmm. you flipped them, and then what happened next? What happened was um, I found out like, yo, this is like pretty good money. So I bought, I, w I, j I went on Facebook and I joined like different local groups where people just like buy and trade shoes. So I'd like lowball everyone or like get stuff for cheap and I just leave it here and then, and then I would sell it here. Okay. And then what's funny is um, I was doing that for like half a year and I told the owner like, yo, hire me, you know, I want to work at the store. Okay. And we're at Soul Stage yeah, right we're now at Soul Stage. in Alhambra, California. Yeah. Okay. So it was this store. I told him like, yo, hire me because I want to work. I want to make money. And he always told me, yeah, I'll let you know. But he never he never got back to me right so one day it was like i would say it was like three years ago or two years ago i was i was pissed so i took all my shoes back and i and i just started my own ebay thing okay. so i just sell, started to sell on my own yeah okay and then it was a good decision because i wouldn't be making that kind of money working at a retail store mm -hmm. yeah i would make more doing it by myself okay so how big did your uh, inventory get? Yeah, first, when I started, I remember I had a, I just bought like a small collection on eBay for 2000. It was like 10 pairs. Mm -hmm. So I started with that and I had some of the shoes I had here. So I pulled all of that, I brought it home and then I just posted everything on eBay. So it was no more than like 10,000. It was okay. 10,000. I started like with a little bit, a little bit of shoes, like just a couple pairs. Okay. And then I just kept working on it. I didn't give up. Every day I would work, find shoes, find deals, whatever I need to do, drive however far I need to go to pick it up mm -hmm. and just try to sell it. So you were doing this full time? I was at school. I'm only uh, 20 right now. Okay. So I was, at, I was in high school, but like in class, I would just be checking my phone for <laughs> deals. Like I really didn't care. Yeah. Okay. Did your grades suffer in the process? No, nah, my grades were fine. Like it's not too hard to get through high school. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't too hard. Okay, so in the process of buying and selling, how often did you come across fakes? Fakes? Um, I would say one out of every 15. Okay. That's like a good, like that's, well, that's like quite a one bit. out of 15. That's, that's a good amount of fakes, but yeah. some were like extremely hard to tell. But like sometimes I would buy it and I'd bring it here to check and sometimes they, they told me it's fake, so I'd have to go either return it or just take the loss. Okay. But you get better at it. Like, you know what to check once you start doing it more often. There's like, 
the smell of the shoe, like the stamp, the box, the sticker, the size tag, yeah. all that. You can, you can basically tell after you've been doing it for a while. Because we actually interviewed Jamie, uh, who's at Riff LA at mm -hmm. the time. He's at uh, a different store now. But we actually did this blindfold test where we had him sniff mm -hmm. different sneakers and he would tell us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold different shoes up to your nose and you're going to tell me what shoe it is strictly on smell. You're not going to be right. able to see it. How many fingers am I holding up? I can't see, bro. Okay. I'm, bl I'm blind as it is without right. glasses. You can, so you're not going to be able to see it, touch it. Yeah. Only thing you're going to do is smell it. Okay, this is shoe number one. I gotta get close. I can't. I can't smell it, but I gotta get close. Are you even putting it to the face? Yes. Hold on, don't move it. Okay, I think it was a 350. Yeah. So you could actually do that yourself? No, nah, I don't think I can do that, but I can, if you give me a real and a fake pair, I ah. can smell which one's real and fake, but not like, oh, I can <laughs> smell what shoe this is. Like, no, I, I can't do that. Okay, so you could smell a fake sneaker. Yeah, I can, smell, I can smell a fake sneaker. Uh, how do people usually react when you tell them that the, the shoes are fake and you're not going to buy them? I mean, they're going to get pissed, like, because <laughs> now they're stuck with it. But, like, I'm not going to buy it. Like, how am I going to sell it? Right. Like, it's not my problem. Like, you drove all the way to me, but I'm not just, I'm not even going to pay for your gas because... <laughs> You brought me a fake shoe. If it was real, I would, I would buy it, like, no question asked. Sure. Yeah. So have you actually bought fake sneakers and got stuck with them? Uh, I, I have, but I've bought fakes on eBay because it's hard to tell. Yeah. But you can just return it. You're protected, so yeah. there's, no, there's no problem. Yeah, I had a situation also yeah. where uh, I bought some fake Yeezy 750s with a fake receipt and everything. I took them to Riff LA. They knew before I even opened the box that they were fake. And then I had to send them back. They refunded my money and then the PayPal bounced. But then I went to eBay and eBay actually cleared it up. Yeah, well, yeah. It, I got seller protection yeah, through eBay. Always. So eBay paid me back. Then they went after the. Yeah, they, they the always themselves. protect the buyers. So it's yeah. good to eBay. You're, you're like, if you buy shoes, like you're protected no matter what. Sure. Yeah. Now, now how big is your inventory right now? Right now, I actually uh, I'm, I'm moving all my inventory because I found a new business. Okay. So I'm not doing the retros anymore. I'm doing more like Nike apparel and 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 like just running shoes like okay. from the outlets and stuff like that. From okay. like yeah, kind of like Jordy from Shoes Ian. Yeah, I've been doing both like retros and cheap cheap shoes both. So I so I made money both ways. Sure. So whatever whatever way I can make money, I, I'll do it. Like okay. yeah. Now you're not actually. A sneakerhead yourself? No, I'm not. I'm not a sneakerhead. I wear like when you see me on the streets, I'm probably gonna be wearing like a plain shirt, shorts, and some running shoes on. Like majority of the time, that's that's how I dress. It's cheap. It's comfortable. Like there's, I don't find a point to wear like Jordans to show off. Like I don't, I don't. Okay. Like there's no disrespect to like the sneaker culture, but that's just me personally. Like it's so hard to earn money. I feel like I need to be more wise with it. Yeah. Like not be spending it on every release. Like, save up, like, think about the future, that kind of stuff. Now, a lot of people are going to see this and they're going to get upset. Yeah. They'll be like, how dare this guy go into our culture, make money off us, and he doesn't even love the shoes himself. Yeah, a lot of people are going to get mad, but everybody's different. That's just me. Yeah. You know, like, you, everyone's different. Like, mm -hmm. everyone has their own ways of living, you know? Like, I just don't find wearing, like, I don't need that attention. I, I, I'm, I'm really okay with it. You know... I've had a lot of Chinese friends over the years, and mm -hmm. I know that that family is very big in mm -hmm. the Chinese culture. And parents usually are very involved with the, the careers and the lives of their kids, yeah. even as their kids get older. Yes. So what do your parents think of you doing something that they probably don't understand at all? Yeah, they don't understand it at all. Like, like beginning with the socks, they like, every time I ordered like, whatever when I order stuff to sell like it comes and they they would get mad like like why are you selling socks why are you selling shoes like they would always say like stop ordering it mm -hmm. and like they never they never let me do what I wanted to do but um, I went to college um, for one semester at community college I did one semester there mm -hmm. and I just felt like it wasn't for me like we only have 24 hours in a day and if I'm in if I'm sitting in school for like a couple hours and then I got to study for a couple more like that's time wasted that I can be like hustling I mm -hmm. like to be I like to hustle 
So I convinced them, like, if I make six figures by 21, then I would be able to drop out of school. Okay. Well, I, dro I, I mean, I would drop out now, but if I don't make six figures by 21, I'd have to go back to school. So that's the deal we had. Okay. Yeah. Are you close? I'm past that. You're past right that. Yeah. <laughs> so your parents can't say nothing yeah, anymore. Now they have nothing to say. But like, you know, like, we're, we're, like I respect them. Like, it's no, like, them not supporting me, like, I, I know why, because they don't know, like, there's money to be made. Like, and it's, and it's weird, like, for someone to, like, for them to present me to their friends, like, oh, your son sells shoes. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I'm getting paid for it, and I'm, I'm surviving. So it's all... It's yep. all good. I feel you because I have immigrant parents also. And when I became a DJ, they, they were like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, You're wasting like your that. life. You know, you need to go back to being a computer programmer again. And, you yeah, know, it, sometimes it, you got to follow your dreams, man. Yeah, it is. It's, it's not a dream. It's just the hustle. It's yeah. like, I like to work. I like to go out there and make my own money. I like to survive. I like, I like that I, instead of like sitting in class and just listening. Like, I don't, I don't like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, the wall behind you are the Yeezy 750s. You've been selling them for how long now? I've been, I had them for about a week now. About uh, a yeah, week? Yeah, about a week now. Okay, and those are all your pairs behind you? Yes, they're all mine. But it's not all my money. Yeah. Like, I had an investor like, who put money down with me. So, I mean, you could say it's all mine. I'm selling it, Yeah. but the money came from other people too, yeah. Okay. So, how many pairs of Yeezy 750s did you purchase already? Uh, I would say about 100. 100, 100 pairs? pairs. Yeah. Okay, 100 pairs, and the retail, the resell on these is what, about 2,000? I mean, from the first day it was at like 2,000, and then every day it just kind of went down from there. Oh, it went down? Yeah, it went down. Okay. Because I, I, no, I have no idea why, but the market's like, it's going down daily. Interesting. Yeah. What's it at right now, you think? It's at like 1,800 right 1800. now. 1,800. Yeah. Okay, so let's just say to round out, 2,000, 100 pairs, 2,000, 20,000, $200,000. Mm -hmm. You bought $200,000 worth of Yeezy 750s. Mm -hmm. You and your investor. One investor or multiple investors? Multiple. Multiple Just, investors. Yeah, like three or four people. Three or four people. Yeah. So you don't have to say the names, but what kind of people were they to, to go into business like this? They just had money. And, <laughs> and, and I told them like, yo, like, I need money and I can definitely make your money back. Okay. And I showed them like what I do and I explained to them and they were down to put it down for, for it. Okay. So... Each one put down, what, like 50000 or so? Yeah, it was about 50000 each. Okay. But, it, but you're, you're calculating, like, the, the resale value. We didn't pay 18000 2000 each, you know? Whatever sells at the yeah. end, it's, like, evenly split. So it's, okay. it's really fair for everyone. But, but you had to give them some sort of estimate. Yeah, there was an estimate. What was the estimate? I mean, each shoe, they were probably going to get at least, like, a $300, two, $300 return on it. Two or at 300 least, return. Yeah. So... On average, how much were you buying these shoes for? Uh, I wouldn't be able to say that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it was nowhere near 2000 No, it's not. It's not, it's okay. not 2000 So once again, I know we can't go into specifics, mm -hmm. but how were you able to obtain so many pairs? Uh, I've been selling sneakers for like a couple years, so like I've made a lot of connections throughout the way. Um, majority of this is like from the East Coast. It was shipped okay. over here. and But I... I get it from multiple people because they know, like, I, I pay, you know, I pay for it. And, like, they know I won't, like, release whoever they are. So they're okay mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. Are these stores or are these suppliers. individual resellers? Suppliers. Suppliers. So not yeah. stores? Some stores. There's, okay. It came from, like, so many different sources, like, not just one place. Yeah. So, like, how many pairs did you get or the most number of pairs you got from one person? From one person, 40 pairs. 40 pairs. Yeah. Quite a number. Yeah. Quite a number. You have to have a good account to get that <laughs> many. Yeah. 
And the way you're able to get so many pairs because you're able to just buy them up front. Yeah, because I can pay for it and I, and I know the people, so I just seal the deal. Like, okay. I don't need the money. Like, I don't need to put anything down. I just seal the deal. So in general, when you talk about, you know, because people buy and sell sneakers all the time mm -hmm. on eBay and, and, you know, individually and so forth. But when you're talking about 40 pairs, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you're talking about tens of thousands of dollars. Like, how do deals like this get formed? Uh, we, we, most of uh, the people, we pay them through PayPal because we're, we're protected that way too. Okay. So we need to be, we can't do cash. Like, it's too dangerous. Like, we, we pay them through PayPal and they ship it over here and then there's no problems. There okay. won't be any problems as long as they ship the stuff over. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had deals like this where you paid and the and shoes never came? Or the shoes mm, weren't I mean, real when they came? I mean, yeah, that's like buying on eBay. But like big deals like this, nah, I haven't been like messed up. Because like, the people that you deal with, they're, yeah. they have reputation. Yeah, they have and, reputation. Because so we've been dealing with them for, for a long time. Like I've been dealing with them. So of course, like I don't mind sending like 50, 60,000 PayPal. Because anyways, I'm protected, so. 50, 60,000 PayPal, that's, yeah. that's what's up. For the Moon Rocks, like I had over 200 pairs, but I didn't post anything on social media for that one. You had 200 pairs yeah. of the Moon Rocks. of the Moon Rock 350s. Yeah, and I'm actually wearing those right now. Yeah, which is the funny part. 200 pairs. Yeah, and the retail on those is around a thousand bucks. Now it's about yeah, a thousand, twelve hundred, twelve hundred. Like so you yeah. you were sitting on two hundred thousand dollars again. Yeah, but that one <laughs> product. That one I we I wholesale to like different different people. Yeah, it wasn't just like, and I kept that really low key. Like nobody knew like I had that many moon rocks, but I was selling to a lot of resellers too, and they sold it to other people. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So, when do you expect to unload all these sneakers? As soon as possible. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to hold them. You don't want to yeah. hold them as soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. All right, well, that's what it is. Alan Quo, thank you for your time. Thank you, man. So you're looking at definitely maybe over $100,000 worth of product. I mean, compared to the amount of Yeezys that there's in stock, probably closer to a million after it's all calculated. On the website, there's a little over a million. What is the one Jordan model that more people ask for than anything else? One, and f one three, and four. One, three, and four. And then six. And the six? Okay, what about the colorway? Like, if you, if you, like, if you Original. Original colorways is the, the one to go. 